guys welcome back here to my channel the lord has just been like screaming at me the last few days uh this is flaming apaches uh it, it, this is a prophetic channel i hope that you look through the content and and just hear what the lord is saying this is kind of like god's channel and so i just publish whatever the lord will give me and i really want to make this video very short today the lord for the month of june he's just like downloading and he's downloading and he's encouraging the body of christ through some of these words and i know that some of these are really for me and then the lord will say this is for the body of christ so it's really kind of cool so this word um and if you haven't noticed i've been posting a lot of community posts and i'll put like a little scripture you guys those are not just like scriptures that kind of like thumb the bible through they're really prophetic like they're images that i see in visions they are uh scripture that the lord will uh speak to me and some of these verses like i had never like i don't think i've ever studied the book of timothy like i, I know i've read through the bible but like I, ha I don't remember any of this in the book of timothy and the lord began to speak to me this specific scripture verse and it's second timothy chapter 2 verse 20 two, two, two. that's how i remember it isn't that crazy um it says in a large household there are vessels not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for lofty and others for humble use. If anyone cleanses himself of these things, he will be a vessel for lofty use, dedicated, beneficial to the master of the house, ready for every good work. So um, I didn't really understand exactly the context of that word. And then last night, I had an incredible dream. I was in this house and I really want to put this dream out there because I feel like it really illustrates the spiritual meaning and context of what the Lord is saying. So let me just briefly tell you that uh, in the dream, I was in a, like, a, like a house party, like a barbecue or just some sort of gathering at this house. And I didn't know who the uh, host was, but it was a woman. Uh, I, I was there with a lot of friends and they introduced me to her and I was just like going around her house like admiring everything in her house and there were like little uh, I could tell from the house who she was like she had walls where she had picked up a hobby of woodworking and carving and there were violins that she had built all by herself carved by herself and guitars on a wall, just beautiful, beautiful wood carvings. And there were like all these like side um, businesses within the house. Like she would, she had uh, like shelves of the things that she had made and sold. And I just remember talking to her and she was like really humble. And she was like, yeah, this is my house. And I was, I was like, I want to be like you, you know, this is what I want. And of course, I think it's this is a, a something everybody should want, right? Uh, this woman was like this Proverbs 31 woman. She had like a side hustle going on. She was industrious like Ruth and wise in business. And so I just was admiring her whole house. Her house was incredibly beautiful. And of course, she, she had prosperity and wealth, which allowed her to like feed all these people and, and to employ all these people and to be an influence in her community. And so she was useful, right? She And it's funny because like from her house, from looking at her house, I could tell the kind of person that she was. And in the context of this reading, if you if you read a couple, uh, and I'll post the, the scripture here um, on the screen, but if you read the context of that whole chapter, this is talking about how even the you know you've got your 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 gold and your precious metals in a house you know but but there are precious things that the lord uses even though they're made out of wood and that's where you and i come in that we want to be useful people in the kingdom and god is warning right now the body of christ and i feel especially because of the month and the timeliness of this word i feel that the lord is saying do not engage in useless quarreling so for example the the pride month right like what check your motives what is your motive for the kind of comments that you're making you know are you are you speaking the truth gently and 
with um you know not, at the same time not being ashamed so there's a way and there's a manner and so we ought to pray for the wisdom to know how and when and why we're saying things right those are all great questions like before i speak and start getting into this debate you know is really facebook or instagram like in the comment section like is is that really the place where i want to be um investing in bringing someone to christ like is that the is that really what i want to do like is that worth that right so that's what he's warning about it says in verse 22 so turn from youthful desires and pursue righteousness faith love and peace along with those who call on the lord with purity of heart again like that purity of heart don't quarrel um, be gentle with everyone able to teach tolerate and correct opponents with kindness those are really like man like you could not get more practical like saint paul is talking to timothy and exhorting him like hey remind my people and this is a reminder for god's people especially this month as you know things start getting triggered you start getting triggered you start saying things and people start saying things like think before you um say things and don't get don't get drawn into these rabbit holes especially with family and friends that where you might not you might lose the opportunity to be useful in that person's life so just you know be gentle there's a way there's a way um when engaging in these kind of conversations uh there's a way to talk to your children who are going through these through through all these questions i mean i i, I didn't i didn't grow up in this you know transgender movement i didn't grow up with these kind of identity politics and so the, the the world is just upside down and the lord just wanted to give you this reminder today so thank you for uh tuning in here to my word i'm beginning to ramble so i know i need to shut up uh just a quick note announcement um i am selling rosary so be on the lookout i'm gonna post a link soon i'm selling rosaries because i want to go to the holy land in november and actually you're all invited to the holy land okay announcement number two um i just uploaded a new music video called the hail mary song and in that video uh it, this, first of all, the song was written by a dear friend, Richard Sosa, out of the Wisconsin Music Ministry. He's just a good friend, and we loved his song. And I said, I, "Can I sing it?" And and of course, he 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 allowed us to do that. And so I posted that here on my YouTube channel. So check that out. It's I let me know what you think about it. I'm sure uh, Richard would love to know as well. And then announcement number three: This is Pride Month again, and uh, I just want to invite you to meditate on ways that we can be God's instrument for reparation to the Lord for these blasphemies, these this hate that's going on in the in, against the church even. Um, and so just reparation and, and for Catholics, we do the Sacred Heart devotion this month. This is a month of the Sacred Heart. We, we have, we're trying to claim back the rainbow, claim the, the holy face of Jesus, and just make reparation for the atrocities and the abominations that are being done, especially this month. And so I just wanted to remind you all that there's work to be done in the kingdom, and I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Amen. God bless you.